my test okay for in this video we will answer this problem for a steady flow through a heat exchanger at approximately atmospheric pressure what is the final temperature when heat is in the amount of 800 kilojoules is added to 10 moles of ethylene initially at 200 degrees celsius okay Ano yung challenging dito sa problem na to? Kasi ang unknown mo ay yung temperature 2. Yan. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kung may solver cap, diba, pwede yata sa solver na unknown mo yung, yung boundary ng integral. Tapos isosolve mo yung boundary ng integral. Pero if wala kang solver, kailangan mong mag-integrate manually. Yun. Yun ang malaking problem. <laughs> uh, again, ano yung working, ano natin? Working equation. Gamitin na lang natin tong So, ito yung sample problem. One. Ito pa. Labelan ko lang. Oops. Saka. Ito yung sample problem 1. Ito yung sample problem 2. Okay. Sabi rin dito, atmospheric pressure. Then, so, ang working equation ulit natin ay ano, Q equal to delta H equal to integral of CP CP dt from T1 to T2. Tapos, ito yung unknown in T2. Again, uh, alam natin, makukuha natin to from yung tables ng heat capacity for SAD. So, noon yung delta H, binigay siya. Uh, 800 kilojoules, sinabi rin na 10 moles. Noon yung initial temperature. Okay. So, isulat natin siya. Delta H CP yung C, ano ba yung ano, CP, diba? It's R putahan natin yung table ng ethylene ito so sabi sa table ng ethylene ito yung equation ng CP, again, transpose yung R sa kabilang side by the way, ito pala ay gases in ideal gas state, siya applicable. So, assume natin na ideal gas to, para magamit natin yung ano, yung equation. So, sulat natin A plus B integral from T1 to T2 ng R times A plus B T yan B T so no choice tayo kailangan mag integrate ayan kailangan mag integrate kasi hindi natin alam yung T2 so uh, ilipat na lang natin yung R sa kabilang side since ilabas natin siya sa integral since ano naman uh, constant naman siya tapos ano uh, integrate na natin so pag integrate t2 minus t1 plus b times 
t 2 squared minus t1 squared over 2 plus c t2 cubed minus t1 cubed over 3 diba ayan pero mahirap isolve mahirap isolve yung t Two, okay? Kasi naka-cube. Pwede rin, pwede nyong i-try mag-solver actually. Pero mayroong technique. So, ang technique, let tau be equal to t over t1. t2 over t1. Tapos express mo lahat. Okay. So, express mo lahat ng t2 in terms of tau. So, ano siya? Uh, A times na, labas ko yung T1 tapos yung T2 kasi mangyayari T2 equal to ano we? Eh, uh, tau times T1 Tapos, ilabas ko yung T1. So, ang may E1, tau minus 1. So, ganun din sa iba. B over 2. Labas ko yung T1 squared. T, yan. Ganyan mangyayari dyan. Plus, C over 3. Labas ko yung T1 cube. Tau cube minus 1. Yan. Okay. Tapos, substitute ko na lang yung mga uh, values. So, dapat kasi ano, uh, yung delta so, delta H, sige, ano yung delta H? Equal lang yan do sa Q kanina. So, actually, pwede natin itong palta ng Q eh. Pwede natin Q. So, yung Q kanina na given 800 kilojoules Tapos, over R na 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. Kailangan natin multiply yan ng number of moles. 10 moles. Para Kelvin yung matirang unit. Aha, teka. Kilojoules to. So, dapat uh, gawin natin tong joules lang. Paano? 800,000 joules. Yan, para mag-cancel out. Yan yung left side ng equation. Tapos, mm -hmm. yung A natin sa ethylene ay ito ethylene. Where is ethylene? Ito. Ethylene. So, ano yung A? 1.424 times T1. Ano yung T1? 200 degrees plus 273. So, 473.15 Kelvin times tau, yung unknown natin, minus 1. Plus B, eh, yung B ay 14.394 times 10 to the negative 3 over 2 times T1 squared, which is 1 point, and 473.14. 0.15 pala. Kelvin. Squared times tau uh, squared minus 1. Okay. Uh, and then last yung C. C is negative 4 point. Ano eh? So negative 4.392 times 10 to the negative 3. Negative 3. 
times 4, 7, 3.15 Kelvin cube times tau cube minus 1. Again, at this point, pwede kang gumamit ng solver para isolve yung tau. Pag nasolve mo na yung tau, yan, substitute mo lang siya dito. Dito. Yan, substitute mo siya dyan para masolve yung T2. Yan. Uh, or, ang long method dito ay i-expand mo. I-expand mo siya. Magiging, ano siya, cubic na equation. Cubic equation. So, pag naging cubic equation na siya, pwede rin mong gamitin yung sa calculator para isolve yung uh, tau. Okay? So, for example, ako ang na Nung in-expand ko na siya, medyo mahaba eh. Kaya niya na yan sa bahay. 4, 4, 2, 1, 5. Ito yung nakuha ko. Minus 2.3913 tau squared plus 0.23015 tau cube. So, pag solve yung tau, ito yung nakuha. Tau, ito yung makukuha. Yan. And then, substituting this equation, makukuha yung T2 na 1374.5 Kelvin. Yun yung answer.